Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is a uh, rigging in Autodesk Maya. This is the first chapter of uh, rigging. So uh, this chapter is actually for those who are actually new into the uh, character rigging, and uh, you can really start up with this lecture. And if you follow the series of this lecture, it'll definitely uh, have some idea about how to uh, rig a character, a fully functional character in Autodesk Maya. So let's start with for creating rigs or uh, joints. Uh, uh, you have to go to animation menu and under that animation menu you'll see the skeleton uh, menu and uh, here we found this joint tool that's the uh, first thing that we have to look out for creating any kind of character rig so that's the thing we have to uh, know of these options of the joint tool so go to the option box and there are a lot of options uh, like degrees of uh, freedom, orient joint, the primary axis or secondary axis, and few other uh, stuffs. Now, uh, for basic uh, rigging, you don't have to uh, really, uh, um, you know, bother about these settings. You can straight ahead uh, move on to the uh, character rigs. But I think uh, I feel that uh, you better know few of the few of the stuffs because that's 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 a very important one because. Uh, uh, if you really know this, you can you can really customize your rig while you are a rigging character. So just uh, uh, resetting the tool options and let's see uh, what was actually come up. So first, if I, I just click on on the, uh, the viewport, you can see a circular kind of uh, uh, sorry a spherical kind of object will come up, and this is my joint. And this is a single joint. And if I hit enter. That's uh, that will all 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 along one single joint. Now, if I want to create a joint chain, like two three joints, I can create like uh, as if I don't release uh, or press the enter by uh, clicking on single joint, or uh, but uh, creating some other joints also, and then after uh, hitting the enter. So first. First of all, select the join tool, click two, three, four, five, six, and hit enter, and you have your join chain. Now, within this join chain, um, you can move uh, any any joint you really want to uh, by the normal move or rotation tool. And this is uh, this is where we can uh, you know. Uh, reposition your your uh, joints and everything and also which is the most important part that is if I if you go to the uh, channel box with a, either by channel box or by you know on the, uh, by attribute editor you can change your joint name like anything you, you really want to like uh, maybe it's your shoulder it's maybe it's your spinal cord or maybe fingers or whatever it is don't leave these joints on default names like joint one joint two joint three because that is a very uh, very big mistakes uh, people do while uh, while uh, rigging character because in the later stage when you start skinning with this character you'll found this is very difficult to find out a single joint you wanted to you know skin with so <clears throat> renaming of the joints is is really really important so or uh, remember this thing this is very this is very very important stuff to uh, to give a proper name in in your in your you know uh, joints so moving on to the next uh, uh, the options uh, according to so first option is uh, the degrees of freedom okay uh, before before going towards the degrees of freedom I just uh, want to tell you that uh, within this chain you can see uh, this three joints are out there individually if I create a single three joints like this and again like this and these three joints are not connected with any any way if I rotate this joint you can see other two was ineffective but in this chain you can see there is a connection between these two these three joints it's clearly visible now this three joints 
are actually connected with each other with a relationship called parent-child relationship this joint or the joint 3 is the parent of uh, sorry the child of joint 2 and this joint 2 is actually the child of joint 1 now if we select the child joint and hit the upper arrow in your keyboard it will select its parent joint or the uh, upper hierarchy node um, so that's how we can understand this these are the these are the uh, parent these have the parent child relationship even with the without uh, without uh, selecting the objects we can uh, we, we can without selecting the joints we can see the this joint the joint one is actually pointing towards the joint two we can see this uh, the point uh, the sharp edge or the sharp side is actually pointing towards the joint two and that's how we can say that this this one or this joint one is actually the parent of joint two and so as the joint uh, joint two is a parent of joint three so there's a, a relationship between these uh, two actually uh, sorry the three is actually out there here if you want to create the same kind of relationship between these two uh, three joint uh, that you can do so first select it's a simple simple creation of a parent parent child relationship or the forward kinematics the same thing so select the child joint then shift select the parent joint and hit p so this parent is uh, this joint is actually uh, get mm, you know become the parent of uh, this last joint same way select this joint shift select the parent joint you want to put if you want to be put this one is as a parent of this this one sorry the child of this one so select the child joint first and then shift select the parent joint and hit p and you can see you have the same relationship between these two this these three joints that's become the main parent joint and these two are the child ones so that's how you can uh, connect the jo joints you uh, want to join and uh, also uh, you can create the you know the the, uh, the relationship between uh, two th or three joints according to your requirement okay so in the join tool section now I can um, move on to the degrees of freedom now what is the degrees of freedom degrees of freedom is uh, something which is actually uh, just let me put it on so that every time I don't have to click on that okay so the degrees of freedom is um, by default that all the degrees are on where all the axes are on XYZ these are the uh, rotational axis uh, limit you can say or maybe block you can say like if I switch off the y-axis and then create a joint chain you can see y-axis is immobilized you can rotate the z you can rotate the x but you cannot rotate y that is the uh, options is all about that you cannot rotate if you want to uh, switch off any kind of rotation you can do this uh, while you are creating that uh, those uh, uh, joints but hey don't worry you don't have to uh, bother about that that much because even after creation of that if you go to the attribute editor under the joint option you can see the degrees of freedom and anytime you want to switch on with switch on that option you can really switch on so it's absolutely up to you whether you want to limit your uh, rotation on particular axis that you want to create uh, that you want to limit any kind of particular axis you can do that you can do that and anytime you want to switch back to the, your uh, normal thing you can also switch back to the normal things so uh, this is the uh, uh, degrees of uh, freedom and next option is the orient joint uh, or the primary axis now orient joint orient joint is a, it's a it's a kind it's a little bit of uh, uh, critical things i don't think that uh, people who are actually you know very basic of uh, uh, in breaking section uh, you, you uh, right now you don't have to bother about this but this is very important but right now this is not the time to, uh, to jump on jump into the orient orient joint option because uh, just uh, for knowledge you, you have to understand that orient joint is very important but for right now I'm not going to cover this up I will definitely going to cover this up when I'm uh, using this jury orient joint option um, 
but primary axis that you have to know because uh, if you select any kind of joint you can uh, see this uh, three axis degrees are out there X Y and Z uh, red green blue so red is pointing towards the joint of uh, its parent and that's why how we can see we can say the par the primary uh, rotational axis is actually Y if I hit uh, before creation if I hit uh, Y as a primary axis and then I create a single joint chain and hit enter now you can see Y axis is actually pointing towards your uh, child axis so that's how we can uh, change the primary axis to Y or Z or X whatever you want but right now I'm uh, leaving it towards a, a reset value which is X is the primary axis and Y and uh, Y is a uh, as, as secondary so after that, <coughs> I'll just uh, move on to the scale compensate option. Scale compensate option is a very uh, important one while uh, you are creating uh, your uh, joint. First, I'll just uh, create one single joint chain by switching on the scale compensate. And after that, after that, I will just... Uh, switch off the scale compensate and I create another joint chain by switching it off so these are the two uh, joint chain I have created now let's see what is happening uh, while using the scale value if I scale down this you can see the x-axis I'm just scaling the x-axis and you can see only the selected joint chain uh, sorry uh, only the selected joint has been affected uh, by this scaling but if I select this one this joint chain and I'll just scale it down you can see entire joint chain has been affected each and every joint has been scaled down but in this case that is not because I I have switched on the scale compensate option for creating this joint that means this joints scaling has been compensated by by this one but in this case that's not happened the entire chain has been affected so that's how you can uh, avoid some squeezing or the uh, you know losing the volumes and everything while or even after the creation of your uh, skinning so it's absolutely up to you whether you are going to use it or not sometimes it's really important sometimes not so it's absolutely up to the user which which uh, people generally do if you want some squeeze and stretch and everything then definitely you can use switch off the scale compensate option if you don't want to lose your volume to the others other other uh, joint chain then you can definitely switch it on so uh, that is all about the scale compensate and let's move on to the uh, auto joint limits now auto joint limits is a very interesting one if I create a joint chain like this and same joint chain I will create we after auto join the limits now see the difference if I rotate this in a y axis it's rotating freely but in this case where well, I've switched on the auto joint option, uh, joint limit, it's rotating within this very fine, but after that, it's locked. Why so? That is the auto joint limit is all about. It's already getting this angle, and it's assuming that this one as a hinge joint. Now that will help you to create any kind of hinge joint you want to create like our elbow or maybe our knee you can see if I create this joint chain like leg joint chain by switch on the auto joint limit in this way I can limit this rotation but also sometimes I accidentally limit the others also other joints so it's very you have to be very very uh, you know uh, 
uh, sure about that uh, that whether you are really want this option to be switched on or not because uh, sometimes it's really helpful and sometimes it can uh, it can be a boomerang and uh, it it can hit you or or maybe maybe uh, it, it it may be blocked you blocked you some certain certain features that you really want to okay fine so that's uh, 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 that's your uh, auto joint limits and if you want to create any I can handle by default uh, that will you can you can create by switching on this and also the variable bone joint settings now variable bone joint settings are uh, really not, not that much uh, important but you can use this if you switch on it the size of your uh, joint or radius of of the jo joint is actually depend on how uh, long you using these bones so if you if the shorter your bone the radius will uh, get down and if you if you create a very long chain then you can uh, have your uh, bone radius to be increased uh, automatically that thing you can use or you can uh, set it by yourself that is up to you so uh, this is a basic of the uh, you know the joints and how to create them how to manipulate them and uh, definitely how to rename and uh, rename is a, is a one of the very very most important one and uh, I'll, I'll uh, definitely use this uh, in a very practical mode in the next chapter from the next chapter by using a character and I'll just uh, we'll just see how to incorporate the, the this this kind of creation of the joint into a character so hope you enjoy this thank you very much and please don't f uh, forget to join our uh, YouTube uh, subscription and also the uh, Facebook and Twitter page thank you very much